I got them PS4, PS5 coins. If you guys need any specific player training or coins, hit me up on Twitter at the Texas Boy Now. I want to slide in my DMs and I'll slide you some coins for the low. And for this weekend only, we can go ahead and get you some coins with a discount. Check it out. Build your Madden team without having to break the bank. Guys, 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 I spent way too much coins today on these team diamonds. But yo, I had to come back with a bang, bro. Y'all showed crazy support yesterday with the video and on Twitter. Y'all were buying coins left and right, and I appreciate it. So I'm like, you know what? We got to go ahead and knock out these team diamond 2.0 collections because we got to get the loot kickly. And it was not cheap at all. I started out today with like 11 plus million coins, as you guys can see. Yeah, I ain't got much right now, but yo, we got the Team Diamond roster constructed. Team Diamond is left and right from left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, tight end, wide receivers, and running backs out here. So, team looking great. That's three quarterbacks in the game. We got Joe Montana, it's Carson Palmer, as well as Vince Young. I don't think you guys want to see Carson Palmer gameplay. He's much more the same. Vince Young's already been in the game. So, now we got the Joe Montana, who should have been a Steve Young, which was a funny joke going around Twitter yesterday. This dude is nuts. He is like 92 speed powder, so he gets escape artist and gunslinger. Here he is compared to the Vince Young, same speed, same throw power, pretty much identical. Like I said, Vince Young has been on the Madden since Campus Heroes first dropped, so you guys want to watch that. Then we got the Carson Palmer right here, who is a, what, field general quarterback with the 88 speed. So I think you could probably get escape artist if you power him up, but I'm not exactly sure because, you know, I don't use field generals like that. So I'm going to try Joe Montana. Because uh, I know Niner fans are excited to get a quarterback in the game that is not named Jimmy G. So let's see how he can play for us. I, I do believe his release is traditional one, according to Mutt.gg. So he's not really anything special as far as throwing the ball. But we'll see what he can do for us in the game. Priest Holmes out running back, Curtis Martin. We also got the Sean Alexander. We can go ahead and throw back here at running back number three. Uh, I don't really know why they're dropping, what, team captains as diamonds. It seems kind of redundant. Let's check out the attributes of the running backs real quick. So we got Priest Holmes, who's going to be 5'9", 213 with 94 speed, 93 break tackle with 90, what, 495 change direction. That's pretty solid right there. We got Curtis Marty Marr. Shout out to my boy Jay Skill. Uh, Curtis Martin's going to be out here with 94 speed at 205 with 95 break tackle, 93 change direction. So pretty solid right there. Then we got Sean Alexander, who, like I said, you guys have already seen his team captain, which got upgrades today as well. So I think that's probably better, at least on par with this one right now. So if you guys don't want to spend the coins on that, go and get the team captain. But 5'11", 225. None of them are as thick as I would like, especially on next year. You want these big backs that can just run dudes over. That's why Derrick Henry is like the GOAT. But as far as running backs are concerned, I think Priest Holmes might be the best because of the combination of speed and power that he possesses, even though he comes in in a small package at 5'9", 205. Not the greatest. Honestly, the best running back today might be this Larry Zonka, bro. It might be. <laughs> like, no cap. This dude, 6'3", 237, 89 speed, 94 run block, 94 lead blocking. I might end up keeping this guy and powering him up. I know fullbacks in this game are pretty worthless because they'll still miss blocks uh but they're just really nice to have especially to my wildcat formation you throw them out there on the jet sweep or throw them out there at tight end with the run blocking that he possesses and that speed he could be a really good guy to get out there and hopefully if he hits the right guy that guy should not be getting up wide receivers only got two guys we got roddy white falcons uh hall of famer or ring of honor whatever you want to call him this dude is solid 95 speed uh well 94 speed i didn't power him up because i'm not powering up any falcons on my team i'm just not doing that unless your name's michael vick not doing it, but pretty solid. Six foot, 211. Like my guys like Keyshawn Josh, Robbie Anderson, who were a lot taller, a lot faster. But we decided to go ahead and power up Andre Johnson because this dude is nuts, bro. Physical wide receiver archetype. Dude's going to be out here at 6'3", 230. And then obviously, if I can go ahead and get another speed strat card, 97 speed at that height should be really, really hard to get around just because he's a big body. So a much better Brandon Marshall. So we're going to go ahead and rock this guy on our main team more than likely after we go ahead and sell off the rest of these dimes. I think he's going to be a main staple. We got two tight ends, John Mackey, Keith Jackson. John Mackey's been in the game. Keith Jackson, I do believe, is new. If he's not, I'm sorry. I've not been playing much, that much at all this year. But not he wants to be tight end six foot two. Wish he had better run block, but as a receiving threat, pretty solid. Uh, not too sure if he's better than, like, the Darren Waller or what's that? What's that Darren Waller? Sorry, Kyle Pitts that came out. He just got Redux as well, so his price should be a lot cheaper. But, I mean, it's a big dude, man. 6'2", 250. Like, if he was 6'4", that'd be ideal. But he's going to be kind of hard to take down in open space, especially 
with these cornerbacks that are coming out are like, I don't weigh anything, but I just have good speed. Yeah, that's going to be a possible task to bring that man down. So, yeah, Larry Allen at right guard, Olin Cruz, Jeff Bostick. We got him playing at left guard since there was no left guard in this promo for a Team Diamond. Really weird that we got two centers but no left guard. Okay. We got two left tackles, Joe Thomas, Tony Baselli. Both these guys are Hall of Famers. So hopefully, Baselli gets in. I know he had a short career, but for the six years that he played in the NFL, he was literally like the best tackle in the league. I just I hate the fact that the Hall of Fame is really just based off of, how long did you play for? It's just dumb. Like You should just reward the guys that were the best at their position for even if it's a short period of time. Not Well, like a year don't matter, but like six years is a pretty lengthy amount of time if you ask me. So that is going to be the offense we got right now. And defensively, we ain't got the Luke just yet. I got to go to the set for him. But we got Eric Weddle powered up. Um, He got a speed increase in the last few years of Mutt. Like this dude usually comes out like 89 speed, 88 speed, with like really good ratings. Now he has the speed to go with the ratings. Only 5'11", which is going to leave a lot to be desired on the field because a lot of guys have taller receivers out there anyway. So he might get mossed on, but 99 zone. With mid-zone KO, might go crazy. So I'm looking forward to trying him out over there at that free safety spot. Then we got the Ronnie Harrison, that strong safety. And this is kind of weird, right? I don't know why they only gave him 91 speed. Like, he's powered 92, obviously. But he's the same speed as Joe Montana and the same speed as Kevin uh, Green, as well as, like, two speed slow or two speed faster than the fullback. So not crazy good, right? Like, he has good hit power. But, man, I just, what are we doing, man? I know Patriots theme teams are, like, rampant right now so maybe the thing in the plus four will make him manageable but he's going to be like an in the, in the box safety in the box linebacker somebody that i'm going to sell as soon as i get done with this gameplay same with the secondary we got an intro cornerback that played for i want to say like three teams i'll put all the way on the on the screen the list of um which teams each of these guys played for that way you guys can go ahead and pick them up and is going to be a really fast cornerback especially power him all the way up and get him on a theme team 96 speed just right now if i power him i'd be 97 speed plus two theme team chemistries be 99 so really solid only six foot tall though but has good man good zone coverage uh, we got this philip buchanan another cornerback i believe played for multiple teams as well he's going to be out here at 5 11 190 pounds Powered up to 96 speed, but 95 right now on the team. 95 press, 98 man coverage. We'll get to 99 if you obviously get him upgraded all the way. We got D'Eltha. Delpha O'Neal. I said that's I said that terribly. 96 speed again, 97 speed powered up, and we'll get 99 zone max staff if you power him up. So there's some really good, like really good zone, really good man cover cornerbacks that came out. Just hang out the height on them as you would like. Especially because my Panther theme team right now does have like three cornerbacks that are six one or taller. Like that's or six, yeah, no, four. So a little short right now, but we got the last guy, Lim Barney. Again, 96, 97 speed powered up with 98 man coverage. Stop, Pat maxed all the way out, it looks like. But, yep, probably the worst cornerback of them all. Sorry, Lions fans. Hope it was a night train lane. But instead, they gave you somebody that sings to children on PBS in the mornings. That's that's really annoying. So sorry about that. That's kind of the worst card I've seen. Uh, then right, let's go to our right aim. we got Mario Williams. Hopefully, he has red eyes. Uh, that's been one of the things that Madden has added in the last few years where or, Back in the day, I should say. Back in like Madden 25 and on, like Mario Williams always had red contacts. That's what he used to wear on the field, if you guys didn't know. He'd use it as an intimidation factor to scare the tackle he was going against. I don't know why he did that. He was already one of the best pass rushers in the league at that time. So I just think it was just kind of like he didn't need it. It was unnecessary, but it was still cool to aesthetic to see him on the sidelines with the red de devil eyes. That was dope. We got Warren Sapp, D tackle, who is, I don't know why he's so slow, man. Like, for some reason, they really did not do him any justice, man. This dude's one of the most athletic tackles in the league of all time. Like, he should at least be, like, up there with, like, Richard Seymour's speed. Like, the fact that he's 75 speed is nuts to me. And that's why I didn't stream. My Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting. Let me go and show you guys Mario Williams' stats. I forgot to show you before I got kicked off from the servers. We got a pass rush, like I said, 89 speed. Amazing. 6'6". Six, six, like, bro, he's really good. Really good. That speed is going to be able to, like, again, not catch escape artist cornerbacks, but, you know, it's going to be good to, like, you know, run down some other people that don't have escape artists. So uh, that is a win right there. We got Sharif Floyd of the D tackle for the Vikings theme team that just got Kevin Williams this past week. Dude's going to be out here at 6'3. He's faster than Warren Sapp. Okay. Okay. 297, 95 blocks, 95 power move, 90. Uh, well, two play rank, 92 tackle, 95 strength. Really, 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 really good run stopping D tackle. Um, so, but unfortunately my Panther theme team is loaded, so I don't need any of these pass rushers at all. So these guys will be getting sold after this video. Then we got Michael Strahan, a left end for the Giants. Hall of Fame Michael Strahan, my bad. I gotta, I gotta mention that off top. Six foot five, 255, 86 speed. So 
95 block shit, 96 power move, 92 finesse move. So really good card. I think out of the pass rushers, uh, I probably would take Mario Williams. And out of the D tackles, I would take more in Sap. But I mean, these these guys are all really good. I just wish they were like 96 overalls that got to 97. Maybe even 97 so it got to 98. This weird starting 95 overall, especially when we didn't really need this content. But I'll take it because we got the best card in the game, in my opinion, than Luke Kigley. Uh, let's go ahead and show you Kevin Green. We got powered all the way up. Uh, obviously, on a Panthers chemistry, he'll get the plus two speed. But because I don't have any strat cards for linebacker, he's going to be stock at 94. But that's still really good for a pass rusher. 6'3", 239. For some reason, he doesn't have 99 finesse move. I think that's where it should be. 95 is fine, but I think it should be around like 96 seven at the worst because even if you have the linebacker cards you want to get that to 99 so really 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 don't gotta waste uh my speed on my cornerbacks to make this guy good even though 99 finesse doesn't matter as much as i believe it should but still really good man one of the fastest pass rushers that came out and then we got two guys on the other end at right outside linebacker with joey porter and suggs who are the opposite of fast Joey Porter is going to be out here 88 speed, which isn't terrible, but, like, you know, you want these guys to be kind of able to, like, run down, like, Kyler Murray and guys like that. 88 speed is just not going to cut it at this point. 95 power move, though, so 248, six foot three, thick boy, man. Thick, thick boy. Going to be able to force a lot more fumbles than other guys. Then we got Terrell Suggs, the staple of the promo. We used to get this guy every promo, like, going back in, like, Madden's, like, archives. And it's fun to see him back, and they actually gave him some speed. He's like 73 speed most of the time, but he has like the craziest stats. Like he'll like 99 block shit, 99 hit power, 99 power move. Like he'll have all those ready, but like if he if he gets there, you're dying, but he ain't gonna get there though. <laughs> you can run right around him. What is this man's hit power? What does he possess right now? He's gonna be at 90 hit power. That's not that high. That's okay. The disrespect. The disrespect. That's weird that he does not have the hit power that I think he should possess. But I mean 85 speed pass rush Ravens fans. Chiefs fans, and was that the only two teams he played for? Was he on the Cardinals as well, too? So he's going to be good for a lot of theme teams. Uh, just unfortunately, just I, I'm not going to keep him after this video. And I guess we can go ahead and get into the piece of the resistance. And that's going to be Mort Anderson. I forgot about him, actually. I ain't going to lie to you. Mort Anderson does not get a power up, but he's played for multiple theme teams. So if you guys are looking for a kicker uh, that played for, I'm going to go here, Bow. He played for the Saints, Falcons, Giants, Vikings, and Chiefs. This guy is going to be able to get focus kicker and clutch kicker, I believe, if he gets two ability slots. Um, yep, he does. I don't even know if you can actually rock both of them because I don't know what the AP is on the special teams. <laughs> I have no idea. It's two. So maybe you can only rock one of them, which is really dumb. But, you know, still better than rocking none of them. So, Morton Anderson, go ahead and get you guys one of you guys need to get a kicker for your theme team. Let's go ahead and get that Luke Keekly. Like I said, all these sets cost me a ton of coins, but... I got to do it for my boy, Luke Keekly, man. The day that I come back, EA not only released a a 98 best card in the game, a gold 99 powered up Luke Keekly. We also got limited time McCaffrey and packs today, bro. Like, there was no better time to come back than the present. So I'm excited that it happened the way it did. Like, it almost feels serendipitous in a, in a sense. So it's it's amazing. Uh, it's, I'm, it's like, I feel the love right now. Man. I feel the love. It's been great. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get this Luke. Let's go ahead and get this Luke. We did the Team Diamond Luke Keekly Master Set in the first day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 98 Luke Keekly, bro. Let's go ahead and get this man powered up. I want to see his stats real quick stock, though. I want to see his stats stock, man. 95 speed. Six foot three, 238, 95 zone, 98 hit power with 95 block shit. What is this man's man coverage? Only 74, man. I kind of think that's disrespectful, but you know, you know, you know, they couldn't give him anything higher, right? That'd just be OD. That'd just be OD. They got to like nerf him in some way. But man, I cannot wait to hear this man's Hall of Fame speech, man. We all going to be in there. Crying because somebody gonna have me cutting onions, man. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. Let's go to get a power all the way up. Man gets five abilities, five ability slots. That's nutty. Oh man, gold 99 Luke Keekly. Gotta rock the diamond art because that's the best one on the card to have. Man gets right and left outside linebacker position. Like I said, gets all the team chemistry. The Panthers should be times five, but you know, it is what it is. 
gets Lurker, and all the ability slots at the last one on lock, except for one step, which makes sense because he doesn't have 85 man, but if he did, that'd be crazy on a linebacker. With the, he doesn't get short route, but everything else he gets. So, oh man, what is this? I have no idea what other this stuff is. Grants improved reactions to runoffs. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some gameplay in the next video for you guys. Uh, Team Diamond gameplay, we got all the cards. Uh, if I didn't show you any of the cards, I apologize. I only want to show you cards I think that actually were impactful. Um, obviously, the linemen aren't people that really matter, in my opinion, because they can have a 1,000-plus pass block, 1,000-plus run block, have 100,000 awareness, and they'll still like not pick up a damn blitz <laughs> sometimes. So I only showed you like the impactful players, wide receivers, the cornerbacks, the linebackers. And if you guys have any questions about any player, check out mutt.gg.com. Because they will, well, sorry, mutt.gg, because they'll basically have all the players listed. You can go ahead and upgrade them as well and see how they look or with, uh, before you make a purchase of them. Um, if you guys need coins to complete some of these diamond sets, hit me up on Twitter at the Texas Boy 91 I got a lot of coins still to move. I got a lot of training to move. And if you guys want to purchase any specific diamond player, I got them for sale. Hit me up. Hit me up, man. Support black businesses. It's almost Black History Month, man. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. We got Luke. We got Luke. We got loot! Oh, man. Oh, this is gonna be a good-ass day. I can already tell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! This ain't money came by your heaviness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.